Okay, so if we get started talking about buzzwords and we talk about things that will get your resume noticed, data mining is going to be way up there, right? So data warehouse, big buzzword right now. Uh, data mining, big buzzword. You understand the uh, use of the term multidimensional database, right? You're going to blow somebody's head off. They're going to think you're so awesome. Uh, so I am kind of kidding with that. But data mining is a big, big thing right now. So let's kind of get an overview of what data mining is. And I really mean this is like a, a very generic overview. We have a whole chapter about this a little bit later. Now this particular graphic that we see here, let me, let me zoom into this because I, I think this is very important. Uh, this is not a Scott Wiggum graphic. This is one directly from Microsoft. Uh, this is how the internal group at Microsoft considers the analysis services engine to flow. It has two parts. One part handles multi-dimensional databases. The other part is data mining. Now, this is actually kind of led to the ability to consider SSAS not just a multi-dimensional database server, but a multi-dimensional database server and a data mining server. Now, if you want to call that marketing, I get it. I'm cool with that. However, we, we need to get into Chapter 11 to kind of see the actual inner workings, the fundamentals of how SQL Server uh, Analysis Services kind of works with that. But I bring this up just to show you how important data mining is. Uh, it is a core part of analysis services. Okay? Now, what it is, is it's the practice of digging through lots of data to find patterns. Data mining, probably understood that from the name, right? Let's say that uh, you have 100 million rows, and that data covers 30 years of trends. Maybe it is uh, defect reporting, maybe it's seismic information, right? Are you going to be able to spot trends into that data over such a long period of time? I mean, that's a lot of data to go through, right? That's 100 million rows. Nobody wants to have to manually go do trend analysis against that kind of information. Okay? So data mining, you're looking for trends and patterns that would have gone unnoticed unless you had done the data mining. Okay? That's really the idea of it, right? So we're dealing with massive volumes of data. You're not going to do data mining over 5 million rows. It's just probably not enough information. We need lots of rows. Okay? You, when you've got a lot of data, we need to spot the trends. But because there are 100 million rows in the relational data warehouse, we can't easily, easily spot all of these trends. Um, for a customer, for example, we might be tracking over 250 different data points, gender, um, are they married? How many kids do they have? Income, right? We might have 250 different data points about that one thing called a customer. Okay. Lots of relationships between the entities, spouses, grandchildren, uh, hierarchies within uh, the data itself. You can only do so much. Okay? When you just are given so many columns, so many rows, your manual analysis can only go so far. And our usual way of getting answers is to ask questions, right? We write a query, we look at the result sets. We run a report, we look at the report, which behind the scenes writes a query and returns the result set, right? However, you have to know what the question is or else you can't ask it. You see, that's the problem here. Manual digging through of this data is, hmm, what question do I want to ask? Oh, okay, what about I want to see the number of sales to people who were married to someone from another state, right? I mean, you have to know what the question is, and then you review the answer, right? How many tickets did our customer service team close over the last three years, okay? Data mining, though, doesn't require such strictness. Data mining is going to help you by giving you answers and questions that you should have asked. It's going to go find patterns. It's going to go find trends in the data and bring them back to you. And you're going to say, oh, I would have never thought to look at that. So data mining is going to really broaden what you're able to get out of 
your data warehouse. Okay? First off, what we're going to work with when we deal with a cube, when we work with multidimensional databases, when we work with data mining, you're going to have built your database first, your multidimensional database. Then we're going to come back and work on the data mining portion of it. So what we're often looking for is to find the, <laughs> to use the old Donald Rumsfeld quote for those of you who would know who he is, you're looking for the known unknowns, right? What are the not so obvious attributes of people who are a bad credit risk. Like maybe in our data mining algorithms we want to uh, stop marketing to people who are a bad credit risk. And we need to be able to know what the attributes are. Are they generally married? Are they generally in between a certain age group? Are they generally, uh, have they usually completed university? Right? What's the common patterns? What are the things that are common for people who are a bad credit risk? We're looking for the known unknowns. We have this information in the database. We may not be able to quickly identify that. What we're looking for with data mining, we're looking for the key influencers. Okay, this is a good term, a big term here in data mining here. Right? If we could identify what those common attributes are of people with a bad credit risk, then we could stop marketing to them. Or we could start marketing to them if we think that our product can help them, for example. Now, data mining will allow us to do predictions. Okay, so that's a big part of working with data mining is to do forecasting. Okay, we can run scenarios through data mining. Uh, we can change a few things, tweak it up, run a scenario. Will this improve our bottom line? Okay, not, okay now I'm going to change this little one variable. Let's run a new scenario. Aha, uh -huh, that's what we need to do. Right, sales forecasting, any sort of forecasting uh, can greatly be improved by doing data mining. Okay? Now, the SSAS product features data mining as a core. We are going to have an entire chapter on what data mining is in more detail, uh, how to do your own data mining, how to do this, uh, how to integrate it with integration services. We're going to play with this uh, in depth, right? So this is just, consider this particular video, the 10-minute introduction to what data mining is. If you want more information about that, we're going to come back in Chapter 11. So really, in between Chapters 3 and 10, it's all about installing analysis services, building your first database, how to do cubes, how to design your dimensions and measures, how to publish this, how to get it going with SharePoint or uh, the various client tools, reporting services, and then chapter 11, got everything built. Let's come back and now talk about how data mining works. Okay? So I'll see you in the next video.